we don't have any Owu family in Osu. There is no Owu family in Osu, please. So get that straight. We want to inform you about the latest happenings in the Achimota acquisition saga. We want to inform you that thankfully Ni Kwabna Boni, the Usu Alata Manche, on behalf of the people of Usu and the Usu Traditional Council, has petitioned the Lands and Natural Resources Minister on the Achimota Forest Reserve Saga. All that he has done is that the forest reserve, the Alodia owners, Alodia owners are the Osu people and not anybody else. So I have a copy here of the petition that he has sent to the minister. And he has, touched, he has attached all the relevant copies to it, showing that there is no one else to be compensated or bequeath any land to except the people of Usu. And that is what exactly he has done. Now, we also want to tell the general public that in this matter, some people had to be prosecuted because one learned judge by name his lordship Alexander Osetutu. If I may quote him, he said that land judgments are prospective. The underlying word is prospective. So it affects the future, the assigns, the old generations, and everything. That is what land judgment is. And if a land judgment had been given by the learned judge, J. Jackson, who also happened to be a surveyor as well, in this matter, it is only fair that the prospectiveness of that judgment should be followed. And therefore, we do not want the waters to be muddied by any other group. It belongs to the Osu people. I'm repeating it. It belongs to the Osu people. So the minister will only have to sit down with the Osu people and no one else. In fact, we are not in charge of the affairs of the state. We have a constitution. Elections have been held. We have the executive in power. They decide what to do with the resources that have been given to them. There are also agencies that had been tasked to be able to check the executive of whatever they do. By law, we are not part of it. All that we are saying is that if the executive had decided to return land to Alodia owners, and it is Achimota Forest, 
then it is for the people of Osu and no one else. We want to emphasize that again. It is for the people of Osu and no one else. Now, when this matter cropped up, it happened that there is a lawyer who said he's speaking on behalf of the Ogu family of Osu. Secondly, Ni Lante Van der Poel, the member of parliament for Odododiodo constituency in Accra here, also spoke that he is part of the petition for the land to be given. Now, we, the Odokwa family, are saying that this, the purported Ogu family of Usu, to whom the land was purported to have been given to, are scammers. And therefore, they have to be found and prosecuted. So we have two of them. That is and MP Ni Lante Vanderpol. The authorities have to arrest them and have them prosecuted for this crime they wanted to commit against the state. We are also saying that it is not only them, but there is a group also called Ni Odoecho Odoekwao, family of La. They have their office at Osu Ari. We are saying that they needed to be prosecuted. Now, this Ni Odoecho Odoekwao, the group had gone to the archives and they have collected the Ni Odoekwao family land documents. In fact, in Accra here, the Ni Odoekwao family owns the Akandecho lands, which is the most primest land within the Accra city. So most acquisitions, most government lands that are being used belong to us. We can talk of the European Residential Extensions Acquisition. We can talk of the Kanda Acquisition. We can talk of the Nima Police Station Acquisition. We can talk of the Hausa Reserve Acquisition. We have two of them. The one on the western side of the Dodua Road. We can talk of the government house and services that include Loga, the Flagstaff, the Flagstaff House, the Kaukudi, and then the Roman Ridge area. In fact, as for the Jowulu, our ancestors said it is a receptacle for the Accra region, and therefore, no settlement should be made there. So, we have the largest lands in the city of Accra, the prime one. And this group called the Ni Odoecho Odoekwao have hijacked our documents and that is what they are using to sell lands in Accra here to people. In fact, we started battling them long ago. In fact, the, we petitioned the special prosecutor. The, pros, the special prosecutor wrote to us since last year. Nothing had happened. The special prosecutor's office, at the time they were at cantonment, 
Now they have moved to just a stone throw from my house here. Nothing had happened till now. But I hear in the news of the special prosecutor following cases that had just happened. Hey, Ghana! Hey, Ghana! Is that how things will go? So this Ni Odocho Odwekwa, we suspect that they are a same group or a counterpart group who is behind this Owu family, whom this Achimota Forest land release is going to. And we are saying that the government should find them and prosecute them. I've mentioned two names, Dusel and then MP Ni Lante Van der Poel. Hmm. So, this is what we are bringing to you this morning. Now, what is happening is that there is a cartel, also known as the Osu Stool, and they also go about, they deal with the state, government agencies, and they also collect money. You will remember that our late chief, Nikin Kadogona, had some structures demolished at the Nigerian embassy. In fact, the settlement is that some money had to be paid to the Osu stool. These had gone for the money. And one of them had confessed. She has confirmed that her part, what was given to her, she went to her family house, that is the Teno way. And because Teno have three branches, the Akwele, Akwoko, and Taiwa, she comes from the Akwoko part. She has done something there. And she has shared part of the money with her people. And I've kept some so that when something happens in their house, they will use it. So let me ask the families of Usu. They can't say we. I will like Papa we. I will say we. Psycho Joe we. Pramano. Tolomon. The master's slave. Agbaja Joe. The Ampofus. The Ayetis. Nijam Roja. Apanche we. Shueno Uba Mina Amagawe Niamachole could do a shown we. Brogodo the Browns, the Cockries, the Randolph's house. Agblaishi Yawa family house. Tumbaya me. Mole Akonwe Mankowe Mango Choda The Fleshes The Hesses The Steiners The Banamans The Engmans Nilo Mowe Lomote We Owo We Adwate Abebios Tempon way. All these people, have you? Be, how much were you giving from this money? Hey, Osu. They have collected the money, oh, huge sum. And they have shared it among about five or six people only. And they have dissipated them out. And that is what they use to create the violence and other things. So they sent, they have installed a chief, and they sent an emissary to come and assault me. But as for us, we are men. My people have to drive him away. So that group too is there. So 
this my press conference have mentioned three groups the Owu family of Osu group which two members have mentioned then what worries the new Obuekwa family most is the Ni Odoecho Odoekwa family of La. As for the Owu's case, it just came. That is why through this medium, we are saying that the IGP should have these two personalities arrested and they can lead to the other members of the group. What did you say their crime was? Did you their crime was false pretense. Yes. False claim. And that I do say, and they do say too, he should even, uh, as, they are, as the law ethics shows, you cannot represent a client without his knowledge, without the client giving you mandate. So he should show us what meeting went on with the Owus and he was mandated for such representation. But what evidence do you have indicating that Nick and Tevanda Paul forged the document? The uh, evidence I have on Neil and Tevanda Paul, it is his own claim. I was on air when he was he called in and he said that he was part of the people who petitioned the previous administration, the Mills government, for the land to be given to them as the Uwu family. He claimed that his grandmother, who is a Vanderpoel, married Ni Owu. And I challenge him that the Ni Owu that is being called died in 1867. Looking at his age, I would not know how his grandmother, and even he himself, he shouldn't bring his I don't want to go there. So these are my evidences, if you ask me. Yes. So if we call you here, our message is very simple. And the simplicity of our message is, we doesn't control, we do not control government what it had to use, even this my hall, if government want to use it for the public good, I have no qualms about it. I can only complain of my compensation. So we don't determine what government will use with the Achimota forest. It is not in our power to do that. But if the land is going to be returned to Alodia owners, then the Usu people and no one else. There is no need for any commission of inquiry or everything. The judgment had been given already and the documents are there. We also entreat Niteko not to meddle in the affairs of Usu because he has no business in the matter that is at stake. This is what we want the media to have this morning. Let's stay a bit more on this issue because I've been joined on the telephone line by Edwin Nilante Vanderpoy, the Member of Parliament for the Odododio constituency, to react to these allegations leveled against him. Honourable, welcome to the show. You've listened to the comments made by the head of the Odoikwa family calling for your arrest. What do you have to say to that? Well, good evening. Thank you for having me. And I want to say good evening to all your viewers. Well, um, I didn't know about anything. I was just in the voice. And I've had calls from various news uh, and media. Honorable, can you kindly speak up for me? Well, I said I've had calls from many right. new, news houses and media outlets on this issue. And I, 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 I am a bit surprised. 
Um, I think that man does not really know what he's talking about. Um, I don't have a problem with him per se as a man. He's an elderly person. And I have said on one network that I wouldn't want to have exchange with somebody who is um, old enough to be my uncle or my father on air. I belong to a family. My family will respond appropriately to those issues that he raised in that press conference. Okay. It's unfortunate. Um, by marriage to my great-grandmother, I am part of the old family and I will not run away from that. And I said, the old family has been informed of the press conference and they will react to it appropriately. But you see, this is somebody who he himself has just been hit by a judgment in the court over this same issue of land. This is somebody who the Osu Traditional Council has come out to denounce and to say that they've never elected, chosen, or appointed him as a spokesperson. I've asked one simple question, and I want everyone to ask that same question. Where have they been all these years from the colonial government to today? When the so-called non-existent Owu family was dealing with successive governments, he was not in this country. He was blind. He was deaf. He couldn't see, speak. So he sat down, folded his arms, and allowed the so-called non-existent old family to deal with all successive governments until this government. It's funny. So I, I won't want to say anything more than this, but I'm saying uh, my elders have told me not to react and that they would deal with it themselves. And as a Gandangwe boy, brought up in the culture and tradition of my people, as I've said, I wouldn't want to engage him. He's an elderly brother. I wouldn't want to engage him anywhere, on any news media, any radio station, any television station, or even the newspapers. If All he right. thinks he has any problem with me, he can come and sit down with me, as we do, as we do. We say in our language, Right. He also petitioned the Lands and Natural Resources uh, Minister to halt plans uh, to the O family. You also want to react to that? I don't have any problem with that. I'm saying the family will react appropriately to all the things he has said in okay. his press conference. Okay. All right. Honorable Van der Poy, thank you very much for speaking to us this evening. He's a member of parliament for the Odododio constituency.